Um, today I wanted to show you one of my favourite products. Um, it's the Moostruck Addiction Shadow Palette. Um, now, I use this every day um, because it is seriously the most versatile set of shadows that you can get. Um, mine's well used. <laughs> and there's um, three different palettes and each of them have seven colours in there. Now, um, this is shadow palette number two. I've got two and three and I'm going to get number one soon. I'm so excited. Um, but uh, um, I just wanted to show you how you can use this um, for every day and also for um, like going out nighttime kind of thing. Not that I get much time to do that with three kids, but anyway. <laughs> so um, here's all the colours. They're so awesome. Um, they look even better in real life. Um, now, so I'm going to show on, on one eye, I'll do a daytime look, and on the other eye, I'm going to do a nighttime going out look. All right, so um, first off, before you even start picking your colours, you need to put primer on your eyelids because otherwise it's going to crease and it's going to come off and it's not going to be as bright. Now, we've got our awesome new um, eye primer. Um, so this is specially designed for eye makeup. You can use our regular face and eye primer, uh, which I find is really great as well. Um, but this one's specially for eye makeup. So you want to get just a tiny little bit. Um, now, it doesn't matter. Um, the good thing about primer is you don't have to pick a colour for it. So you don't have to match it to your skin. Uh, there we go. So just doing it all over wherever you're um, planning to do your colour. Um, so what primer does is it gets your skin ready for makeup. So it's going to um, smooth it out. It's going to create a barrier between your skin and the makeup. So the oils aren't going to react with your makeup that you're putting on, which is why it's so important to put primer on first, especially before foundation. All right, so here we go. So this is my daytime look. So shadow palette number two I'm using, and I absolutely love, 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 love. This is my favorite brush, the um, liner shader brush. It's got two ends. You've got this end, which is the fluffy end for just all over, and then you've got the um, angled end, which is perfect for doing um, your lining your eyes and everything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I might go with Romantic. Can you see? Romantic, which is like a light um, shimmery grey. So I'm going to use that and just do that just on the inner part of my eye. And just brushing. A tip here is instead of sweeping, you want to dab because if you sweep, you're going to get powder all over your face all the shadow is going to go all over your face so if you dab it's less likely to go all over you there we go so that's that part and then when i go between colors i usually like to just wipe it on um i just have a bit of toilet paper and i'll just brush it on there um now my next color i'm going to use honorable which is like um it's a matte um gray brown kind of color so i'm going to use that just on the outer part of my eyelid just to this just creates a little bit more definition um, so it's still pretty um, it's 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 still pretty basic but it's just gonna give that little bit more definition to your eye um, yeah just to make it stand out just that tiny little bit more okay so let's do that and I'll just do just a little bit more romantic in the middle just to blend that in. Okay, and then I'm going to get my liner side. Use that same colour, Honourable. Use that one. And I'm just going to line under my eye, just the end bit. And then just the top. Just the top corner part. That just gives it um, just a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, so that is just a simple, really simple everyday shadow. You can use eyeliner as well. So you could line the top of your eyelid, um, line the bottom, line your um, bottom lash line. Um, I like to also use the um, white eyeliner, Pristine. I use that one to line my um, 
lower waterline because that helps to open up your eyes. It's, it's a really good trick. So um, that's just really simple, everyday look. It's just going to give your eye just a little bit extra just for during the day. So now I'm going to do a nighttime look. So it's going to be a little bit more dramatic, um, but it's using the same shadow palette. So, and look, it's got a little mirror in it. So you can take it with you when you go out. And yeah, and easy. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm going to start with um, Romantic again. So the really, um, the light grey shimmer. But I'm going to use that um, along my brow line to help lighten that up. Just along there. I'll just do another bit here, just around near my um, tear duct. Um, that's, because I've got, my eyes are quite close together, having the lighter colours in the middle will help to open it out, um, spread them out a little bit more. Um, if your eyes are further apart, you can use a darker colour to bring them closer together. Okay, so that's just a little bit more there. Guess what I forgot to do? Primer. <laughs> that was a terrible laugh. Anyway, I'm going to sneakily do a little bit of primer now because I totally forgot about it. I'm just going to do it on this part where the main colours are going. <gasps> that is so bad. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> anyway. Don't mind me. Okay, so <laughs> now that I've done that part, now I'm going to do a slightly darker colour. Um, so I reckon I'm going to go with Perplexed because I want a really dark one. Can you see? Perplexed. It's like a dark grey shimmer. So I'm going to do that all over here. Just all over the lid. And I'm just going to grab a bit more of that romantic and just kind of blend it into it a bit more to sew it. Because um, you want it to blend as well. Because otherwise it's going to just be these big blocks of colour and you don't want that. Alright, now um, now I'm going to do the crease. Well, I have hooded, hooded eyelids, so it's a bit hard for me to do a crease. But we'll try it anyway. Um, I tend to do it um, a lot. I'll, I'll put my eyes back and then I line it where my, where my eye socket is. Because um, that's the best way to do it. Now, this is the crease brush. The crease brush is different to the other brushes because it's, um, I'm pretty sure this one's made of goat hair. Um, so this one will actually give you a more um, bolder and more um, deliberate um, brush uh, colour placing. So it's not going to fluff it around everywhere, it's going to stay where you put it. So now I'm going to use a darker colour. So I'm going to go with the black, which is preppy. So that's... Um, Peppy, sorry, Peppy. <laughs> this is like this is a matte black. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a bit of that on my brush. Just tap it off a little bit. I don't want too much. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do it on my brow, like well on my um socket. Can you see how that's going on a lot more deliberate? Sorry, I'm just gonna have a quick peek in the mirror. So then that's going to be a more defined look. And now I'm just going to grab my um, liner shader brush again and just do a more, uh, just a bit in the corner. And I'm just going to blend that a little bit more around the edge. And then now another bit of romantic to help blend those colours all together. And I'm going to use the liner side and I'm going to use this to do the line to go just under the eye. This is going to be like a smoky, a 
a smoky eye. And then along the top, can you see how the liner side of the brush gives a much more defined colour? So you're going to get this really cool colour. So now I'm just going to get this and I'm just going to blend that. I'm just going to dust it a little bit because I want it a little bit more smoky. And I might just do just a bit more along here. I want a nice, really smoky eye. Now, you know, I'm not a makeup artist. I haven't learnt properly how to do makeup, but I've watched a lot of videos and I've done a lot of practice. So, um, this is just my version of um, how to do makeup, really. So, I'm just going to blend this bit just a tad more because I think that was a little bit of a harsh colour. A little bit more of romantic just in the centre here. Just a bit more blending. Okay, cool. So um, you can see one eye, just great for every day, just like, yep, cool, this is my eye. And then the other eye is like, mm, all right, I'm ready to go out. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you can get that from just one palette. So, And there's that many different combinations. That was only a couple of colours that I used. You can use so many different colours. Um, like there's Cocky, that's that's a dark, a darker brown. Um, and Blissful in the middle. If you mix that with a little bit of water or with our rose water, which is awesome, mix it with that, it's going to come out a really gorgeous metallic silver. I might even do a bit now so you can see it because I love it. I thought it was, when I found out that it did that, it was so awesome. What I like to do is I like to get a bit of the rose water, squirt it on my hand, and then I'll just dip my brush in it. Get rid of some of that dark though, dip it in, so the brush is wet, then dip it in that colour, and I'm just going to do, I'll do this under here, right there. can you see how cool that is, how awesome is that, that's like awesome like metallic colour, how cool, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that is the um, Moose Shark Addiction Shadow Palette. Remember, there are three different palettes with three different sets of seven colours. So this one is the um, cool blacks and silvers. You've got Shadow Palette 3, which has more pinks and purples in it. And then Shadow Palette 1, which has the golds and browns. Um, so depending on your eye colour, your skin tone, um, a different one will suit you, but usually they'll suit just about anyone. Um, yeah, so hopefully you got some good tips from that. Um, and if you if you would like to purchase one, or if you'd like to host an online party and possibly get it for free or half price, let me know. Um, visit my website, biolesandmakeup.com, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Stay awesome.